Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. Time for a You Got It cup of coffee with Jesus. Yeah, I got my film production manager here filming me. Hey, I was going over scripture yesterday and I was reading and I was just pondering things and the Lord just impressed it upon me to continue with Proverbs 31 woman because it is just so, so incredibly valuable. I mean, these women that are our wives, our daughters, our sisters, they are just incredible women, especially when they are loving the Lord with all their heart, soul, mind, body. But I was reading in a different translation as the NASB or NASBS. Uh, and it says in chapter 20 or verse 28 of chapter 31 of Proverbs, it says, Her children rise up and bless her, her husband also, and he praises her, saying, Many daughters have done nobly. But you excel them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the product of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. I was just pondering that. And it was just like, you know, uh, let her praise be known at the gates is really just saying in the presence of others, let her praise be known. So... In the presence of others, I'm praising my wife still. My wife, Michelle, is the absolute, <laughs> she is the product of a Proverbs 31 wife. Does that mean that she gets everything right 100% of the time? Absolutely not. But she tries with her whole heart to continually put the Lord before everything, always, every day. She strives like no other woman that I know. She studies the word diligently. She trains our children up diligently. And you know what? She is a great woman when it comes to making sure that needs are met of everybody, especially the needy. When she finds out there the, there's a need, she's the first one to show up and say, Matt, we got to help take care of this. She just picks up on it. She picks up on people's emotional stuff. She picks up on people's trauma from childhood and she wants to help them walk through it. She is just a noble woman. And people don't understand when they are looking for a woman and they just see the external beauty and they don't ever focus on the internal beauty. You know, there was a movie years and years ago, it was called Shallow Howl, and it was a stupid slapstickish type movie. But the guy in the movie, he saw the true beauty of the woman, even though she wasn't really truly beautiful. And it was just, it was humorous about all of it. But there was a deeper meaning in it. It's just like, are you going to focus on the inner beauty of somebody? Or are you going to put all your focus on the external beauty, which is fleeting and fading always? So I just encourage you to read the Proverbs, every chapter. And men, you need to understand again that 95% of the Proverbs are telling us how to be as men, and there's probably less than 5% of it talks about a woman. The only thing it really talks about about women most of the time are just like the deceitful ones, the ones that are prostitutes, the ones that are this, the ones that are that, to stay away from them. Because it'd be mindful about which women you do align yourself with. So men, I encourage you, if you want a Proverbs 31 woman, guess what? Be a all the Proverbs man in Jesus' name. I thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking on my pages. I appreciate it. But most of all, you just need to remember, as always, that Jesus loves you. I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I hope you guys have a great day living out the Proverbs. See you soon. Goodbye.